Hello everyone, before we start today's video, if you could all do me a solid and lightly tap the like button, perhaps share the video about and leave a comment. If you are not subscribed, subscribe as well. It would greatly help this channel. Thank you very much. Isn't this just fantastic? Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This one is impromptu, it is not intended, it was not planned, but I saw things on Twitter unfold and I just thought, you know what? We need to have a little discussion about this because I don't think this is remotely acceptable and the fact you still have a platform when you are doing what you are doing is quite impressive. It is quite impressive, especially when to avoid getting into further trouble, one has had to change the appearance of certain things or what they say, yet at the same time, can't help but use them to increase your views. Further proving a point I had made when I covered this individual a few months ago, that everything about what all of them do, all the parties involved, is very symbiotic. And there is a complete lack of sympathy from me on this one because I can't see a reason to care or be sympathetic considering what it is we are going to be covering today. So the individual in question is Nada El Shami. I have done a dedicated video on him, and we even did a Where Are They Now? because his trial was upcoming. I'll fill you in on that. Another continuance. Yeah, it, it's been pushed back even further. It is considered likely that it will all just be thrown out because of red tape concerning it being in two separate countries, the defendant and the claimant, that is. And courtesy of another creator, I was informed because they were in the courtroom that I think they agreed no prison time anyway at that point. So again, it is unlikely he'll face justice for that. In the Mukbangers ex-wives video I did on Nada El Shami, who is the subject of today's video, I spoke about something called revenge porn. It happened, yes. It wasn't a good look. There are many accusations, many crimes levied against him. In fact, somebody had taken the time to compile a complete list of it with all evidence to support it. The fact this man is even on the platform anymore is a miracle, but then again, so is the very person who he is now, I'll be honest, committing a crime against. I get that your views aren't great, Nada El Shami. I get it. Your views are tanking. You don't have much in the way of support on YouTube, and that makes sense, really. But you don't have to keep on using Chantal, aka Foodie Beauty, and whatever other name she uses these days, to get your views. But again, like Chantel responding to Gorl World, he can't keep her out of his mouth, like she can't keep them out of her mouth. Symbiotic, okay? They all need each other, really. But where the line is drawn is where a number of images are being shown around social media. They're all over Twitter. And naturally, if Irate Alex sees it, I have to see it. So do all of you, but I'm not going to in this video because I would be yeeted even though he has used the exact same images on thumbnails for his live streams, which on the face of it sounds quite irritating. And you're right, it is. But apparently for some odd reason, one rule for he, but not for me. Benefit of the doubt is non-existent, I guess, at some point. And Nada has got a tendency to strike. He has a tendency to, well, in, in many senses of the word strike, actually. Yes, you're a bitch, just in case you forgot. You have to be a bitch to do the things you've done, none of which are remotely acceptable. So on the 21st of December, Bubble Tea tweeted, I have some bad news, guys. Included is an image of Chantel kissing something. Thankfully, we have confirmation this is a foot. I'm glad that is, but I'm still going to use Pickle Rick here to censor it, because I cannot risk getting into any trouble at all. It's December, let's not. It is actually a retweet of another one from Bubble Tea. The image is something shown by Nada on livestream, in fact. The tweet reads, This was posted on the farms at 2.20pm almost an hour ago. Is this a screenshot from her kissing Nada's foot or sucking a dick? Just a thing. That image has been blown up, shared about, and it is confirmed based on the movement, unless it's a toe in her mouth, which quite a small toe I might add, uh, that would be his baby carrot. That isn't something you should be sharing on livestream. No matter the context, the fact that you've got your partner next to you and you are for some peculiar reason on your show showing people revenge porn is astonishing. Now, this on the face of it might not seem enough, but it turns out it's not the only time he's done it. 
because, well, courtesy of Queen of WTF, looks like they're going to be going at it again. Nada had done a live stream the thumbnail of Chantel, I would assume topless, titled Chantel Fake Chic Tisk Tisk Tisk. Would you like to know if that thumbnail is still there? Because, um, it's not. He changed it to a distorted face of her with a hijab on. I wonder why that was changed. Hmm. It really does get one's noggin joggin, doesn't it now? It can't be because, and I had to do a little digging here to find out if revenge porn was a thing, but courtesy of a Toronto lawyer, there is in fact law on this in Canada, where one article states that the criminal code outlines of the offence of publication of an intimate image without consent in section 162.1 bracket 1, it states that an individual who knowingly publishes, transmits, distributes, sells, advertises, or makes available an intimate image of another person knowing that person does not consent the image being shared, or being reckless as to whether the individual consents to the image being shared is guilty of an offence. That sounds to me like Nada El Shami has broken the law. And I'll be honest, you have. 100%. You have. That's two instances, by the way. Using her what can only assume to be topless, her licking or kissing a foot, and of course the sucky sucky. Don't forget the fact, by the way, you might like this for a chuckle. He may have shown someone's um, chocolate starfish during that same live stream. We just don't know whether it was Dee Dee's or whether it was Nada's. That's not even a joke, by the way. I saw that via Tofu Alpaco who tweeted, Okay, so I've watched this clip like five times. He said in this screenshot he was on FaceTime with Pretty Genius, and he was busy. So he won't show what he was doing and tried to zoom away. So it's either Dee Dee's booty hole or his. For God's sake, man. It's a Q&A. Did someone ask to see your chocolate starfish? Or Dee Dee's? Now, just saying had tweeted the image of the Shut Up Buffalo livestream upcoming, retweeted by Whiplash who said so someone posted that he was again threatening to post private images. He did show partial blowing, going after Chantel full throttle. What if he really does know he's going away and doesn't give a fook? Now that sounds a bit tin foily, but actually sounds reasonable actually, an assertion that has some basis to it. But I am not convinced yet because of the continuance that that is where he's going. He is quite familiar with prison, and I'm sure he could apply his chef expertise in there. And when he gets it wrong, sock, soap, makeshift morning star. Hope for the best in all that, right, Nada? Under Queen of WTF's tweet, which has Chantel's response to it, along with the updated thumbnail and the original thumbnail, don't fence me in, said press charges, girl. I can't wait for the police, prosecutors, judges to learn that you posted these pictures of yourself and that thumbnail is PG compared to the countless flapjack and cooter shots you've published for attention and money. Hashtag foodie beauty, the modesty queen my ass. Now there is a point to that because Chantel has used only Fupa. In using only Fupa, she has put some of her content online, which has been bought by at least one person and in turn shared on every single major forum where her name is known. And that includes the hashtag of foodie beauty on Twitter because we the internet need to know what Jabba the Hutt would look like if Jabba the Hutt was white and Canadian, and even more follically challenged than usual, and lived in Trash Mountain as opposed to that rather beautiful residence in Tatooine, and what Jabba the Hutt would look like if Jabba the Hutt didn't have two beautiful wenches side by side tethered and chained, no, just Pete's. Now if we're gonna burn Nada, cause I think it's only right we say something that's quite callous, it's worth pointing out that in the second image that is quite clearly not a foot or toe, and Chantal's mouth is around something, with a sucking motion of some kind going on. Her mouth isn't open that much, is it? To confirm my theory that perhaps this might be considered revenge porn, I did ask on Twitter. Yes. Yes. Who? Yes. 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 And one is, if Sal is a man, then why doesn't he defend his woman? I don't know the answer to that, I'm afraid, Fupa Festa. I wish I did know the answer. I'm somewhat surprised with all the name changes on her channel, and with the complete lack of control, even when she's under control, that she is showing she hasn't found a way to go home yet. Because I get the sneaky feeling that's what she wants to do anyway. But back to Nada. If you are that desperate for views, and I can fully understand that, might I recommend you court controversy with the reaction channels instead. The Clippers without striking them, because you can reap a benefit from it. You will not reap any discernible benefit from Chantel because, realistically, her views, her support, which there isn't much of in the first place, is dwindling anyway. Why? Because she's not doing her stealth. She's busy being Mrs. with some guy doing quad bikes in really crappy areas of Kuwait. 
She's living her best life, everyone. Telling us how amazing McDonald's is in Q8. Because that's something. And not getting her job right. But instead, you can be argued to be committing a crime by releasing images that you shouldn't have anymore anyway. This isn't something of, you know what, I'm going to get the last laugh on you. I'm going to show everyone the angles of you that everyone's already seen anyway. But I'm going to show you the ones you sent me. The ones I took of you while you were doing me. Touching me. Fellating me. I'm not on Chantel's side at the best of times, but this is a dick move that no one should be okay with, okay? And the fact that you are doing it tells us that you have nothing, no creative ideas to be a better creator. You solely exist as long as Chantal exists. Some believe you want her back. There's a possibility of that. Gotta make sure that three-way goes exactly how you plan it, hey Nada? It's gotta look just like the perfect plate of beef stroganoff and chicken sushi. 